Nice. And the nation's sweetheart <laughs> joins me now, and she's having a good old girly gossip Just with good Caroline. Just good yak here with Caroline. How you doing, girl? You're all right. I'm, all right, I'm yeah. sorry I'm late. I couldn't get a babysitter. That's all right. Well, it takes quite a while to do that hair and get yourself presentable. Uh, just, well, I've just come out with the neck, haven't I? So this is sort of this awful 60s denim. Is you have. Australian we'll, we'll talk prison about attire. the denim in a minute. But that clip, Gabby Roslin was coming in for a bit of a stick there, your colleague from uh, The Big Breakfast. What's it been like stepping into the shoes of that other blonde bombshell? Oh, Paula. Mm. Well, she never wore any knickers, you know, Paula, <gasps> on the bed. Seriously. I know, I the well, bed. I hope you do. I know that for no, a no, fact. I wear good double gusset and 100% cotton marks and Spencer's drawers. <laughs> I'm, and glad I'm glad to I'm hear it. I'm glad to hear it. I'm not flirting with the customers. Not, not customers, I'm confused. <laughs> not, no flirting with the, um, with the interviewees. You know, like Paula was all, all over them. I but Gabby gets a bit nonsense. of stick there. But oh, that's she's lovely, quite, Gabby. That's quite mild, though, that clip, because everybody comes in for a bit of a savaging. But the thing is, with the big breakfast, they're all so nice, you say, on it. Like, Gabby, I mean, she's a real amateur saying this because in case she's watching if you are Gabby you know like she's very slick but she's also very nice she's always nice yeah. Gabby and Mark Little's really nice and slick and jolly and I'm sat in the corner like the exorcist <laughs> at past seven in the morning going this is so unlike you though for? to be nice about people Lily because on the video which is basically your one woman show yeah. Camilla Parker Bowles, even, you know, the nation's heroine, Joanna Lumley, comes in for stick. Is no one sacred? No, not. Well, <laughs> Joanna Lumley, I'm a big fan of, but I'm sorry, Purdy, no way, Joanna. Big mistake with that pudding base and haircut. Oh, that hair. That's Talking right. about, and she never did any fighting. She used to talk about it. I'm marvellous, I'm marvellous fighting. She never did any. But she's not, it was smashing and absolutely fabulous. And that other thing where she plays the copper. No, she's not a copper, she's an old Debu. Oh, yes, yeah. She's good in that. Yeah. But no, but the Avengers, oh no. <laughs> Nobody please, escapes, Joanna. really, do they? Has your material changed much from it's the softened. years? <laughs> has it? Oh, good <laughs> lord. <laughs> Help people. I'd hate to have been in the audience no, in those has. pubs it's, and I've clubs. Sort of, I've toned down a little ago. bit. I think I have, anyway. I don't know. Yeah, it does change because you change it all the time because you can't go out doing the old stuff nice in, you know, nice out as much as I'd like to. But you can't. And you know what it's like thinking up new stuff. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But you have to do it. It's like sitting down doing homework. And what I also want to know is when do you ever sleep? Because you're also on stage, as you mentioned, in the blue denim, in the stage version of Prisoner Cell Block I sort of fall asleep on the night bus and wake up in Cricklewood or somewhere with some driver Horrible. saying, come on, come on, <laughs> get up, get up, you've missed it. Are you enjoying gracing the West End stage? I am, yeah. We're having a ball. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good fun. Because you were brought in, I think, as one of the critics said, to bring a bit of class and femininity to the Exactly. Cells. You know, I mean, I know Dame Maggie sort of she wasn't amused, but it's tough, really. And Julia next door, she's not amused. But, you know, I mean, I thought we have to have a bit of glamour back in the West End. That's right, we need it. This is it. Yeah. And also prison is a bit of fun, you know? It's just yeah. a bit of nonsense, really. Is it a musical? Do you yeah, have to sing Yeah, it is a musical, dance? yeah, yeah. Well, sort of dancing, I go three to the right, three to the left, to kick me leg if I can. But it's still comedy, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, from the way it go. Do you think that it's, it's a very competitive world, the both of you, comedy, particularly for a woman? I, I mean, I don't really know. I as I said, because I sort of fell into it, I've never really I haven't fought very hard for it. It happened by accident. I might have to fight hard to get out, maybe. Well, <laughs> mine is it my happened by accident as well. Did it? Yeah, Did yeah, it? yeah, I never sort of fought for it either. It just sort of happened. Yeah. I'm, trying, I'm trying to get out of it now. Yeah, how, did it, it how, did it you, how did it happen for you, Lily? Well, I was working in a pub and sort of I was a compare of a, a, a sort of a talent night and then I got poached by another pub and worked there for eight years. <laughs> Never thought anything of it. Then I went to the Edinburgh Festival. And I didn't even know you got reviewed at the Edinburgh Festival. You know, I was so green. Someone's written about exactly. me. Exactly. Oh, I'm in the paper, and it's not for nicking a toaster. You know, and, what I mean? the, <laughs> and the rest, as they say, is history. history. Yeah. We could sit here and gossip, girls, for hours like this, yeah. can't we? But sadly, we can't. Thanks very much Thank to you. both of you for Thanks. coming in.